Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing um, a fun little project making these cute little pockets out of book pages. And I was inspired by one of my subscribers, Erica Fields. She had sent me this in Happy Mail and I just love it. So you have a pocket here and then you have a pocket here And then you have a pocket on the back side. And she made all these tags as well and decorated. And I just think it's so cute. And so I wanted to make some. So I've made a couple thus far. And then here's the back side. And then here's another one. And then I have the tags in. I haven't decorated the tags yet. And then here is the third one. And I didn't decorate the back of this one because this one I am going to put down in, on, a, on a page in my journal. So I didn't want to do the back. Alright, so let's make a couple. And I'll show you how I'm doing it. So this book is, it's really old, it's from the 1800s and kind of falling apart, so I felt like it would be a good one to use. I'd like to welcome any new subscribers or new viewers. Thank you for watching. And I would invite you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And again, thank you to all of <clears throat> my returning subscribers. And I, let's see, I did this on one other one. Where I wanted, I want this to show because I think that's a really cool detail. So I'm trying to look and see how I did this. So you put the pages together. So I'm going to have that be the back. And then I'm going to trim off these rough edges here. Hope you all are having a good day. I know this isn't a new, anything new. I'm sure you've probably seen this type of little pocket before, but I really thought they were neat. So I'm gonna have that be the back. So then I'm gonna fold this in half here. in and I'm using three book pages so I can have the the two pockets on this side I put that in my bone folder and I like also just the natural aging on this book book pages as well Okay, so I need to, so I'm going to sew the edge, or glue the edges here. You can also sew them. A new thing of glue here. Ah. I haven't refilled my little tiny bottle yet. So I'm gonna glue the edge, just the edges, because this is gonna be a pocket. And then I'll do this other side here. Right. 
And I'm gonna do this other side here. Keep them as lined up as possible. these two sides as well but I am just gonna put a little bit of glue stick on these just to kind of help them and I apologize for hitting the camera so I'm just gonna put some glue stick these will be tucked under so I don't know if the glue stick is really totally necessary but it doesn't hurt in my opinion. But you do you, you do what works for you. Okay, and so this is gonna be my pocket here. Get this all folded down nicely. So then I want to put a little bit of glue on this end. And a little bit of glue on this end. So it's as easy as that. You take three pieces of paper, you fold them in half, and then you fold one half and half again, and then you just glue them all together. And then you have these nice little pockets right here. And then if you want, you can take, um, if you have a circle punch or um, whatever you have, you can cut a little hole out so that it'll be easy to get into your um, pocket. And then I like to do them kind of off center, just for fun. There we go. And I like to ink them up just to add even a little bit more grunge to them. I'm sure it's right in front of me. Now you could glue um, ink this up, this fold right here, before you glue it. That probably would make life a little bit easier. You could even do some decorative, use your decorative scissors if you want to edge that up, make it a little bit even more fancy. And you can really just decorate them up with whatever you have. You can see on these other ones here, I've used stickers and stamps and I've used some bingo page and some uh, lace, some different little ephemera pieces. This is from a, a bird book. So really whatever strikes your fancy really. So it's a good way, I feel, to use up your book pages and also use up your scraps. In your stash. Yeah, it's easier to ink this up if you kind of do it before you glue, but that's all right. I'm making it work. I'm making it work. 
And you can even ink on top if you want. Kind of grunge it up a little. All right. So let's decorate one. Now that I showed you how to make it. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. You can also just rewind it. And I really want to find the lid to my glue, though. Ah, found it. Excellent. Okay, so I pulled out a few things. I really like this. Um, book paper, or scrapbook paper. I want to... This would be neat to put on here. Might be too big. So I'm gonna tear that down a little bit. Really like the typewriter. up today with walnut stain. I use the vintage photo a lot as well. But walnut stain is also a nice option or a nice choice. So put that there. And I'm just going to go with the glue stick. I think that's going to be enough. And I use this Scotch Create glue stick. I think it's really good. The Paper Outpost got me hooked on this glue. This one, so I might incorporate that as well. Stinking this up. And, you know, you can, if you want to rip down and have this be a, a torn edge as well, I kind of like just having it line up nicely with the edge there. So I like that. And I like pulling in a little bit of the pink. Got to put a little bit behind there. I have some of these for sale in my Etsy shop. I think these are great um, additions to any sort of junk journaling project. They're great to use in the background, just to add a little bit of flair. Staying on camera here, you all. Tell me if I'm not. <laughs> I know you can't tell me. <laughs> I'm taking a peek every now and again. nice. 
So I think I'm going to pause for a moment and just kind of flip over to the other side. See what I might want to do over here. Kind of keep ripping over here. I really don't like the white to show. Um, so if you want the piece that you're wanting to use when you tear, you want to then tear away from you. So like if you want to use this piece, then tear this away from you and tear this towards you. Um, and that way um, the white is on this part that you're not going to use. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to tuck this inside here, I think. Maybe I want it like this. Yeah, I think I want it like that. And I might trim that down a little bit. Okay, that looks nice. Let's see what else do I have in here. Oh, let's see about the butterfly, baby. Nice. On this skinny part, you kind of have to think about strategically what can fit and what might look nice. at these Tim Holtz butterflies here. These are really great to have in your stash, and I usually wait till uh, Joann's puts Tim Holtz on sale. And I'll put it on sale periodically, and then I'll pick that stuff up there. Let's clean up a little bit here. I also have some washi tapes here. I think washi tapes are another great option. For decorating. I think this one would look nice. Put a little bit of this on here. And maybe I'll put that on top of that. That might look nice. Yeah. I like that. Another little piece, pick up on the end. There it is. I like the gold that there is on this one. Piece down here. Maybe add a little piece on. I don't know about that one. I'll wait on that. Maybe a little bit of this one. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Right. Let's look at what else I have in my stash here. Oh yeah, some music paper would be nice. This little book. I think 
I got this little booklet in a Your Creative Studio box, I think. Some little birds. Be nice. Oh, that's a neat little piece of fabric I've stamped on. Oh, here's a couple more butterflies. Mushroom stamp. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this. I think I'm gonna go ahead. I think I'm gonna glue that down in there. Just gonna slide it in there and I'll use my bone folder. Press that down. And I like this little ticket. I think that could be cute. And I really like this. I want to put this on here. Might ink it up a little bit. just a little bit of it. Maybe I'll cut it. Just playing around, trying to not overthink it too, too much. my daughter in Seattle this one and she's like mom can I have that and I was like sure <laughs> so I need to send that out to her I'm not one of those people that gets hung up on the music having to always be Vertical. Okay, it's there. Going up and down. That doesn't bother me. The butterfly on there. Okay. 
fun to wrap that around. I haven't done that before. Don't do that. Let me snip this off just a little bit right here. It's fabric. I hope you'll give these a try. If you do, let me know down in the comments below. Just press any extra out of there. Like that. And get up just a little bit. Okay, that's coming together nicely. And then let's find some lace. Kind of feeling this, this lace here. That's what we did. That underneath of that. Perfect. Let me trim that down a little bit. Okay. Let's glue that on. And I just tap just ever so slightly the Fabri-Tac glue on the most solid area if possible. Actually, I'm going to flip this around. I have that on that side. We'll glue this down. On top of that. Coming along, coming along. And um, maybe I need a little bit more of this.
again, just trying to not overthink it. I think I am about done. There's probably a, maybe a few little finishing touches I might add, but I think you all kind of get the idea on how this works. I might add just a teeny bit more washi tape. There, just to reinforce the edge there. All right, I think I will stop here. Um, I might do maybe a little more stamping or something or a little piece of lace down here. But you just, you get the idea. I'll show you. So you can put a tag or whatever you want to put. You got a pocket here. And then you have a, you know, it's a big, they're big pockets. And then you also have a pocket back here. I like showing this on the book from the book page. All right, you all, thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. It really helps my channel. And I really hope you all enjoyed watching me make these. And you all have a great evening and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.